Hi, hello everyone. And if you like, and or if you're interested in image processing with C Sharp or .NET as general, this video will be quite interesting for you. Today, I'm going to show you. Uh, we will go into use Eforge library, and Eforge library is a component or API that you can download it from NuGet. And also, if you don't know NuGet, I will leave a link in, in the description for how to use NuGet and how to search for it, for an API inside NuGet. Okay, after you after, after you add a reference on <coughs> a Forge library from NuGet, we have to include it in, in our project with using with using keyword using space a Forge then using a Forge imaging using a forge dot imaging dot filters so we have a small windows form with five with five buttons and one picture box one for blur one for hue one for saturation one for brightness and the last one for for bringing back our our image so first, so first of all, we will do a temp image bitmap just to store our, our original image temp image image and temp image equal we will cost it to bitmap our picture box. Actually, I didn't, uh, just picture box one, <laughs> just the default Visual Studio name. And then we will do <laughs> method, we will call it process. And, and it should turn a bitmap with two parameters. The first parameter is bitmap image and the other one was i filter interface and i filter is exist in a forge you can't use it outside a forge return and then fil oh, filter filter and this one will return filter to apply of our image that's it so in in, bl in blur button we will double click on blur button and we need to go on, on the click event on, on the blur button we will write bitmap image of and then process we will cost we will cost a bit map bit map of picture box slot background and new Calgian blur of value takes one double with we can we can try 40 or 50 50 as value and then we will put it in our our picture box let's see what will happen if we click on blur if you see if you notice that the image being blurred Now it's totally blue. Okay, we need when we click on on the back button, it will put back again our original image into our picture box. So picture box dot background equal temp image. 
let's fire again let's see here we go and click back here we go I will do one more time now it's load and then back here we go okay we will do the same thing with hue saturation and brightness we will double click on hue and then actually we will copy these two lines with these three buttons copy hue we will drop it we will only just we will change the effect here here modifier and then let's fire let's see let's see in action here we go see go back again and back and here and back and here <laughs> okay <coughs> we will we'll do the same thing with the brightness and with saturation with saturation we will change the effect to saturation correction saturation correction and actually we will leave the same value 50 and with brightness we will do the same thing bright brightness correction with value 50 with 50 as value and then let's do saturation and then hue and then brightness see and then back let's close click to to <laughs> to wow and then back that's all very easy component with just two lines you can change you can change you can apply an effect to any to any of your image that's all very easy guys okay guys uh, if you if you have any questions just let me know and thank you and see you soon